What's up guys, my name is Tanner aka Morsick. After wrapping up my free to play locked series, I am officially unlocking this account to pay to play. I know how overwhelming it can be to have all of this content unlocked and at your disposal, but allow me to be the bridge between free to play and pay to play. This way you guys are not so overwhelmed, taking on the task one goal at a time. Oh wow, okay, I want to say that's enough points to uh, get my torso. That took like a couple hours. GG boys, thank you so much. Figo, let's go up the ladder. I think that's enough. Let's hope it is. Rewards shop, rewards. Scroll down. Should be penis torso. 375 in each roll. Oh god, never mind. Okay, one sec. Okay, let's try this now. We should now have enough. Penance torso. Oh my god. <sighs> Yo, <laughs> we got the fighter's torso, baby. Shout out to Captain Figo. Helps me carry a couple teams, man. He is MVP of the day. Only took a few hours. God bless. Oh, it looks so good. All right, all right. Let's check. Let's check it out. Hang on, hang on. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so we're going from... Defense bonus. This is going to give us a huge strength bonus, though, obviously. Fighter Sorso isn't really made for defense. It's made for its strength. But it ain't bad defense at all, either. Look at the melee strength bonus. God, plus four, plus zero, plus four. God, it's so good. Holy cow. Captain Figo, thank you so much, man. That is amazing. <laughs> Look at the beauty. Look at the beauty! Huge gains here on episode 2, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Woo! You know, as a kid, I always felt like that quest was so much longer, but it, it wasn't long at all. Uh, Plague City completed 2.4k mining XP. Uh, we're going to be getting closer and closer to 57. 57 does unlock the top floor of Motherlode Mine, so I'm excited for that. It's going to be a good way to get some gold ore and the golden nuggets for the prospector i've been afking it just a little bit so i've got like maybe 10 golden nuggets maybe a little bit less than that oh if you guys were wondering why i just did plague city i need to do plague city so i can get the ardoin i hate saying ardoin it sounds so silly i say Ardigan, even though that may sound silly to you it just rolls off my tongue easier easier um i need to get the easy diaries done so i can get my Ardigan cloak one and uh yeah that's why I'm doing this quest. And I've got, I think, one more biohazard quest to do. And then I should be able to complete the easy achievement diary. There is the biohazard quest done. We got 1250 thieving XP, full west, Ardigan access, combat training camp access. We need to get that part done, I think, to get the... Uh, no, I don't need anything else right now. Thank you. And we got up from 5 to 12 thieving. Holy cow. 850 total level, baby. Hey, you guys. So I've been here at Fishing Trawler just trying to uh, actually... So getting the Rusty Sword, which is something that I need for the Artigan Easy Diaries. Um, you can get that as a reward. I call it a reward, but you can get it... From the fishing trawler minigame so I'm doing fishing trawler which was also a requirement for the easy diary so I'm kind of knocking off two birds with one stone here and it gives me a chance to get some angler pieces pretty early on so and I'm getting construction XP it's not very much considering this minigame is absolutely terrible by the way <laughs> but Anyways, guys, I'll update you if I get the rusty sword or if I get any angler pieces. Well, I got 1.1k fishing XP, but nothing that I I need. Uh, I guess the lobsters are kind of nice. I'll need those for, for cooking and, you know, questing. But, God, this game sucks. I wasn't even ready to record, but we got the angler boots all before we got... Uh, oh, man, I should have withdrawn it. All before we got a rusty sword, so I'm still waiting on the rusty sword, but... That's why we're doing this, because I have a chance of getting an angler before. No way! Back to back, we get the boots and then the hat. All before... All before the freaking rusty sword. <laughs> Alright, um, we're gonna have to see how long this stretch lasts. Alright, let's see if we get the rusty sword! We got the old boot, it's on the same drop table as the rusty sword, but... Not what we needed. No! Awesome! Awesome! We got both pieces! We, okay, we got the angler top, 
and the rusty sword all in one. Okay, I might have to just stay until I get the, the, the last piece here, right? Look, I might just have to stay. Let's do a few more games and see. Oh my God. Uh, no luck on the next game, but uh, let's give it let's give it a few more and see if I get lucky. Well, we got another rusty sword. Um, might be God. I don't know. We'll do one more, one more game, or one piece away. Come on, one piece away. Well, for now we've got three out of four pieces, uh, two rusty swords. So I'm gonna go ahead and go finish the uh, easy diaries for Artigan and, uh, we're gonna call it there for that, but I mean, I was lucky, three out of four pieces in the first, like, 15, 20 games, I'll take that, but it's time to continue to stay focused and not get too sidetracked here. Okay, so I think this is the last task I have for the easy diary. It's turned out to be a long sword. Ooh, an iron long sword. The rusty sword turned out to be an iron long sword. You've completed an easy task in the Ardoin area. Ardoin? Artigan is how I pronounce it. Your achievement diary has been updated. That might be it. I'm... Oh, what are we missing? Oh, ha okay, yeah, yeah. Back to... We just got to be teleported to the Runescence mine. Easy peasy. All right, so I'm here to talk to Two Pints. We should be able to get our... Uh, cloak one. Wow, thanks. Awesome, and I think if I drop it, I can pick up some more. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, I think just two should be fine. <laughs> oh, yes! We now have a nice method to teleport to recharge prayer, and it's super close to a fairy ring. This is going to be the most useful teleport I have for a very, very long time. Obviously, until I get cloak two or three, but uh, the Ardoin cloak, so good, man. And uh, now it's time to unlock fairy ring, so we got to figure out how to do that. I think it's fairy tale part one and then i have to start fairy tale part two i don't have to complete it i just have to start it but uh, let's go ahead and get started on that well i can cross some stuff off my list the grand tree is complete uh in order to unlock fairy rings i need to do the restless ghost priest in peril nature spirit lost city fairy tale part one and then i need to start but not finish fairy tale part two Ooh, that's kind of a that's a quest line right there. Um, I remember nature spirits not very fun because you have to like run through all Morientania. It's just you know that area is kind of toxic sometimes. But we're gonna get this done. A quest complete. There's priest in peril. We got 1.4k prayer XP and the wolf bane dagger access to Canifis or slash Morientania. We got some more quests to do on that side of town, baby. Hey, look at that quest complete. Two quest points, 3k crafting, 2k hit points, and 2k defense XP. We will take that. 64 total quest points. And 40 crafting, baby. That looks so solid to get that from a quest. Nature Spirit complete. And now I believe I am on to, let's see here. Nature Spirit. Lost City. Lost City is the next quest on the list. Here's a quick tip for you guys. If you're chopping the Draymond tree and you're getting some Draymond staffs, save a Draymond branch because you're going to need it for recipe for disaster, I th think. So just make sure you uh, save at least one or two Draymond branches. Yay, there's a Lost City quest. Complete access to Zenaris and three quest points. Okay, I totally thought I was recording, but we just finished the fairy tale part one quest. Got us all the way up from one to 17 farming. That's how you do it right there. Uh, we are at what total of <laughs> 69 quest points. We have completed 34 quests. Not bad at all. We got to come or start the fairy tale part two quest to unlock fairy rings. Awesome, you guys. I now have fairy rings unlocked. I just teleported to the CIS teleport, uh, which is north of the RCS library. So that pretty much clarifies. And if you go to the quest log, all you got to do is see, I spoke to the fairy godfather who has told me I can use the fairy rings. That's all that it takes right there when you start uh, fairy, fairy tale part two. Once it says that, you're good to go and you can use the fairy rings. I don't have the requirements to complete the quest. That gives me, I think, the teleports that I was wanting. I think I need to do uh, a tree gnome village or something to continue to unlock the uh, grand trees. So let me check on that. Okay, am I just bugging out right now or <laughs> am I losing my mind? 
Logs. I need six logs for the quest. Talk to Commander Montai. Hello again. We've desperate for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see what I can do. What? I have the logs. They're normal logs. I use them on him. Nothing happens. I go to the quest guide. I need to bring Montai logs to fortify their defense. Defenses. Logs. Oh, I got oak logs right there. Okay, I only got five logs. There is Trinum Village quest complete. We've already done the Grand Tree as well. So now we should have full access to uh, traveling with the Spirit Tree. Two quest points, 11.4k attack XP. Let's see if that gets us to... Let's see, let's see. Oh, it doesn't. But we are almost 57. So we've gotten 55 to almost 57 just from questing. Not bad at all. Big... That's a big quest complete, honestly. All right, let's go ahead and mark these off the quest to-do list. Wow. That's how you get it done. Now, something we're going to have to add to the, the list is skills to do. What we're going for, guys, is agility still. We're going to go until we get at least full graceful. That's going to be quite the grind. And yes, there is an update coming out with agility and the graceful set, but we still need to get it. It's going to be essential for all the, uh, the hunting rumors that we're going to be doing in Barlamore. And still, the higher your agility level, the better, I think. Uh, I think the update is supposed to like increase the restore rate of energy. So I forgot to update you guys, but I am doing agility now. Got my boots of lightness, grabbed a few pairs just in case. So we weigh zero kilograms. We got 33 agility. It is time to really start grinding agility, you guys. Focus of last episode was agility. Focus of this episode was getting all of our unlocks or teleport unlocks. And now it's back to agility. I need to get a decent agility level and full graceful for the hunting rumors. So honestly, not much content to give you guys until I get some graceful pieces or unlock a new course or something. Okay, so I've been doing agility. We are at level 37, almost 38. But before I go to Canifis and continue agility to get more marks of grace for graceful, I'm gonna do Gertrude's, Gertrude's cat quest so I can get a kitten. So I can be trading these kittens in for 200 death runes when they're fully grown. So I don't wanna waste any uh, XP and death runes, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna do this real quick. Also in the previous clips i think i was saying i was almost done with my angler set but i believe there's two more pieces there's five total pieces there's gloves hat boots top and bottom so i two pieces away not just one just wanted to correct that before people blow up in the comments about silly things awesome we got 1500 cooking xp and our first kitten i believe all i have to do is give it like a raw fish every once in a while until it's fully grown and then you can turn it in for 200 uh, death runes in the east or west art artigan so awesome oh we got a chocolate cake as well and some stew yums 40 agility kind of a milestone not really it just unlocks a new course in Canifis. and Canifis has a very high rate of marks per hour marks of grace per hour so I think they do. I think it does at least. So let's uh, let's hope it does. But let's go ahead and go to Canifis.
All right, guys, so I do have 61 marks of grace, which means I have more, one more than I need to buy the most expensive piece of graceful. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to turn in the cat for 200 death runes. I think it's 200. Yeah, awesome. So you just talk to any civilian, I think. Uh, okay, then you've got a deal. Give me the 200 death runes. Then you can go back to Gertrude and Varrock. Wait, where the, hold up. Okay, there you go. I just used the cat because it was a fully grown cat in my inventory. Just use the cat on a civilian and it just gives you 200 death runes. Great, thanks for that. Mm-hmm, take care. You can go back to Gertrude and Barak, and I think for 100 coins, just buy a new kitten. And uh, that's how you collect death runes right there, man, as an early game Iron Man. But let's go ahead and go to the Birth Orb and get our uh, first piece of Graceful. We're going to have to go over to the Rogue's Den. All right, I think it's the top. Well, that's 55, 60. Okay, 60 is the most expensive piece. And for some reason, it's the bottoms, but here we go. Graceful legs. Ooh there we go, baby. First item or first piece of graceful ever. Back, we're weighing zero kilograms again. I'm going to have to bank some stuff, for, of course, but let's go back and train some more agility. Having fun doing it. I've been told it's around 55 to 60 agility for full graceful. So uh, that's totally fine by me. I don't mind agility. It's boring, but it's easy. So I, I really don't mind. Going to use the pet cat on civilian. It should give me 200 death runes. We're at 400 death runes just from the agility grind and taking care of kittens. And then we're going to go buy our next piece of graceful. I'll update you in just a sec. So I think the next expensive piece is the top. 55 marks of grace, that is it. We're gonna go ahead and buy that. We got two left. Look at the beauty. You ready? Let's step over here. But boy, does that look better right there. And what's our weight? Currently negative 10, even with all the stuff in the inventory. Looking freaking good, you guys. What is the next big piece that I was gonna get? So this is 35, 40, 30, and 40. So we got two pieces that are 40 marks of grace. Let's get started. Man, I was in the grind and just went for it and I was clicking, but we got 50 agility. Time to move on to the Falador course. I think this is better marks per hour, but at this point it's like, yeah, I do want graceful and full graceful, but may as well also get the most XP that I can while doing it. So marks of grace plus XP per hour means Falador. What is going on here? What? This is freaky. <laughs> it's like a clan of bots or agility trainers that wear black demon masks. What in the world is happening? What is this? What? All right, let's wait for him to pass. Oh God, no, 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 I'm scared. Don't let him catch me. All right, guys, I do think I'm going to call it there. Um, I think if I milked it out and got full graceful on this video, it would just be a, a little bit longer until the video released because uh, it does take a little bit, but we should have full graceful in episode three. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode two. I'm going to leave you on 892 total level. Can't wait to get this full graceful so we can get the hunting grind started. It's going to be very, very exciting. Um, whenever I'm hunting, I'm going to be mixing in 
Oh, look at that. 52 agility. Awesome. I'm going to be mixing in like farming runs, going to be mixing in questing. So right. But these first two to three episodes, you guys, has been focused on agility. And if I'm doing questing, it's for agility. If I'm doing a diary, it's also I can do agility. This agility is the one task I was trying to do while doing some quests and stuff. Uh, to m not make it feel so overwhelming, it's just to help you guys kind of tag along. Um, agility was my go-to, and then when I get full graceful, it's going to be hunter, it's going to be farming, it's going to be birdhouse runs, it's going to be seaweed runs, but you guys can tag along with me. I'm hopefully trying to just hold your hand as we go, especially if you guys are just free to play only um, and, and, and feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Graceful helps out in so many different things. Agility level, having a high agility level helps out in so many different things. It's good to just get up and knock out early in the game. Just tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode two. Much love. Catch you guys later. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Also, feel free to join the Discord. Discord in the description below. Uh, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything is all in the description below, guys. Thanks, and now see ya.